Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 5 Royal. So, uh, we only have three more days until Medjets is going to, uh, wreak havoc on Japan. And we don't have a plan because Futaba is still sleeping. Still sleeping. That girl. That girl. Ooh, okay, so we got more Makoto today. Is she the only one? Alright, well... Guess who we're hanging out with. Can't do a reading today because it's raining. Maybe tonight we'll be able to if it stops. Uh, well, actually... Oh, so I spoke with Aiko and she said her boyfriend was okay with the double date idea. She asked me to show her your picture, though. Apparently, um, she thinks you look a little lame. Ooh, it hurts. She told me that my boyfriend isn't in the same league as her, Sukasa. I was going to disagree, but you are a bit disheveled at times. Hmm. Hmm, this is a problem. I think my charm needs to be at least debonair. Okay, we gotta max out our charm. <laughs> Damn it! If I want Aiko to accept me. <sighs> Aiko, I need to meet her boyfriend somehow and make sure he's not scamming her. Damn, we can't even do a reading today. So, let's go ahead and work on charm. Um, so, it's a rainy day, so we may as well just do the bathhouse. Yeah? Let's do it. Ooh, you know what we haven't done in a while? Well, no, actually, I was going to go and get, um, go and sell some of the, uh, dirty stuff. In fact, do I have any, okay. like, new good ones? Full of sand. Yeah, I don't know if we've done any of these. I don't remember. Come Maybe on. we did. Maybe we'll look at that later. Ugh. Oh yeah, we can only do that at night. So the other charm one is what? Uh, 777? Is that right? Yep. Improves charm. We're not doing it on... Oh, yesterday would have been the day to do it. Day's ending in seven. But oh well. What do you want to do? Oh, thank God. And it's oh, Makoto what? herself. I'm working on getting more... Cool, so that you'll go on a date with me, Makoto. Oh, Analog Coon. Wow, I didn't know you work here. It's admirable that you're making your own money. I feel like I'm seeing you in a new light. Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. I'll see you once I'm ready to pay. Yes. Studying actually makes me pretty thirsty. I recommend sugar water for some situ for such situations. Okay, see you later. Keep up the good work. I should have checked the movie theaters to see if one of them had a charm hey. movie. Good work out there. You got to learn how to be considerate of others through dealing with customers. Mm -hmm. Okay, we still got two points. That's good. I think if it was a new movie with charm, we would have been able to get three. One head You're almost done, right? Let's get your pay and go home. I'll change and go home. Okay, so we got Sajiro here. Hold on, is it still raining? It is not, so we can do our reading today. Is that all that's available? Looks like it. Okay, so I'm unsure. I think Takemi and Ryuji both need affinity, but I know for a fact Sajira does. So we're gonna do the one that we know for a fact. What shall we do? Here we 
we go. All right, Sajiro's ready. It's all for today. I hope it was helpful. It sure what was, girl. Think? Always. Okay, so now we need to figure out who we're going to hang out with. So I know that we have um, a persona for Oya. So we can do Oya, we can do... Yeah, Devil. Um, or we could do... You. And we also do have... Hold on, do we? Do we have Fortune? No, we don't have Fortune right now. Okay. No, we do. Okay, so basically we can do anybody we want in this area, which is good. Let's see maybe... Skills? Let's just check which skill we want to kind of work towards right now. Um, okay. So what's your next one? Special Fate Reading. Provides a preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. I mean, cool, but I don't care. Okay, oh yeah, what's your next skill? Allows you to begin with a low security level when infiltrating a palace. Okay. I think it, what, doesn't it start at like 50% or something like that? And Mishima. Yours isn't till 10. Allows backup members to earn the same experience as current party members. You know what, that's the most useful one to work towards, honestly. But. Yeah, let's just, let's work on Mishima. Hi. So, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh, and Vernak, I was hoping we could talk about Akiyama-kun today. Are you free right now? I feel like my bond with Mishima will grow stronger soon. Oh, I wanted to check something real quick. Well, see you later. So we did our other reading. Can we do um, a second reading? What shall we do? We can, I think. We can't do another affinity one, right? Yeah. What shall we do? Let's check if we can do luck. Okay, so we can. We can do one of each every day if we wanted to. Huh? What shall we do? Hmm? Let's talk at the diner then. It'll probably surprise you, but we can talk some more over there. So, you remember those guys who beat Akiyama-kun up? Well, it turns out they really were dangerous. I looked them up and found some seriously scary info. Apparently, they're part of a gang that's involved in extortion stuff like that all the time. I wish I had known that going in. One slip of the tongue in that act I pulled, and I would have been dead. I'm glad you're still alive, Mishima. Yeah! Me too! Now I really know the true joy of life. Honestly, though, you're amazing. You weren't afraid in the slightest. Maybe it's only natural after all the nightmares you've been through? Yo, Mishima. Hey. Uh, hi, hi there. Whoa, it really is Mishima. Dude, right? Nobody else could be this boring. Akiyama says nothing. Hey, you figured out what you're gonna do after high school? It's just... Um, not, not yet. How about the military? Nobody would ever notice a zero like you stealthing around. <laughs> Too true. I bet you could sneak in anywhere, huh? You'd be Japan's ultimate weapon. Shut up. Here we go. Akiyama-kun. Huh? Something wrong? Not exactly. Come on, let's just forget him. It's no fun messing with Mishima anymore. What do you mean, no fun? You're always the one screwing with him the most. I don't know, I guess I got tired of it. Hey, about before. I've been thinking, well, I should probably thank you. Huh? Something happened with you two? You know, you have been acting weird lately, Akiyama. Don't think I haven't noticed all them bruises you've got. I... No, no. Um, before? Uh, I don't really know what you're talking about. Mishima. My bad. I guess it was someone else changed, though. Hmm? Huh? Yo, Glasses. I always see you two together. You been coaching him? Something like that. Huh. That's so? Kinda jealous. Anyway, see you later. Oh. 
Wait up, Akiyama. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Akiyama-kun's gonna be just fine. He's a pretty strong-willed guy. And I really have changed, huh? Do you think maybe now I'm starting to be like the Phantom Thieves? All right. I'm gonna work even harder now to make sure I live up to your legacy. Mishima is showing a passionate resolve. Rank nine. All right. Um, you know, I, I always used to think I couldn't amount to anything, but I somehow managed to step up and help help up here. <laughs> to help Akiyama-kun with those thugs. It made me realize there really are things I can do to save people. That's why I've started writing a documentary on the Phantom Thieves. Come again? The research I did on that gang Akiyama-kun was wrapped up in was actually what pushed me to do it. And now I'm basically putting together a massive log of all your activities from the fan site. Um, please don't use our real names. <laughs> no. Oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm coming up with aliases for all of you. If you guys have code names you use, those would work too. All right. At any rate, we should celebrate today. My treat. Uh, screw the fountain drinks. Let's go straight for the fancy fruit juice. Ooh, living large, Mishima. Look at him go. The fancy fruit juice. It's three times the price, so it's gotta be three times better. <laughs> Maybe. I'm feeling steak, actually. But I only have so much money. <laughs> That's fair. If you wanna order anything else, it'll have to come out of your own pocket, okay? <laughs> All right, Mishima. Anyway, let, let's party until we have to go catch the last train. <laughs> Woo! See you later! Someday, like, I really, really want there to be a Persona game that, like, takes place in college years. I just want that. I want, like, adults doing this shit at some point. I want that. Give it to me, Atlas. I want it so badly. Ooh, what is up? You still rocking into the night, Vernak Chan? Oh man, he is fired. Fired up, man. Uh, sorry. I don't know the right thing to say after coming home from a party. <laughs> it's not much of a party, Mishima. Oh, he's such a nerd and I love it. Don't worry. Don't worry, Mishima. I was like you in high school, so... As much as I give you a hard time, I wasn't that different. I didn't know. I, I never went to any parties. I wasn't that cool. Well, that was so fun, right? I've never stayed that late at a diner before. You think it's the power of that fancy fruit juice? I mean, it did cost three times the usual price. Okay, I'll stop joking around. I think I'm just really happy to hear that one that one comment from Akiyama-kun. You heard what he said about me, but do you really think some part of me's changed? Absolutely, are you kidding me? The sparkle in your eyes. Your hair? <laughs> Why isn't there like a decent option? He has changed, like, come on, man. He's a lot more confident and he's a less shitty now than he was just a couple confidant ranks ago. Um, hello? C could you say something? Or else it's gonna get real awkward. <laughs> uh, this is embarrassing. Okay, let's just forget I even asked that. Ouch, I'm sorry, my man. That documentary I mentioned, uh, starting today, I'm going to start writing, writing it seriously. And once it's finished, I want you to be the first to read the script. It's our promise. A vow between men, okay? See you. Alright, Mishima. Alright, Mishima. Two more days. Who's the message from? On. We don't have Persona for On right now. Let's see if there's anything else going on. We could do Yusuke. We do have Thoth. Which I believe is Emperor, right? Assume he's maxed. Okay. Let's start. Yeah, let's uh, go and get our reading done with uh, Takemi, I guess? I don't think we got enough affinity to rank her up. Let's do it. Did I already move to a new line? Yes, I did. Here we 
We're gonna make this girl rich. All of that 400,000 yen's going to you, girl. <laughs> Your feelings should have reached the other person. Okay. She's not ready what yet. Do you think? To be expected, we're working on a rank 10, so uh, those ones usually require a bit of affinity, uh, so. Um, now let's see. Have we rolled into a new week? Oh. We have. Yeah, let's, let's get some of this stuff. We haven't bought these in a bit. Yes, Yusuke, who we continually forget to give a card to uh, duplicate. Um, where am I going? Underground wall. Yep, there's Thoth. He is Emperor. Let's do it. Hmm. What a nerve-wracking time. Way. Meanwhile, I am here to observe the public in an attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? I came to see you. <laughs> you must have a wealth of free time if that is your decision. I mean, you clearly do. You just, like, stand in this underground and watch people all day. <laughs> to be honest, I think I have found the way to pull myself out of my slum. Would you mind joining me again? Let's do it. Let us be off. I believe I will find what I'm looking for at the church. Let us head over there. Oh, this one. I, I remember this one. Hmm. Our prior theme, love, it proved to be quite useful for me indeed. After our enlightening session, I once again attempted to paint. However, nothing I put on the canvas was to my satisfaction. Before the gods of art, I am not but a lost sheep. Ah yes, lost sheep. I have come here with you, uh, I have come here with you for precisely that reason. Indeed. Our theme today shall be anguish. I shall paint the anguish Christ felt as he bore the sins of mankind. Ooh, so intense. Hmm. I have seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? It seems not. Well then. Very well. Analog, you will have to be my model today. I mean... Do you want me to strip? <laughs> I was not expecting that to be a max affinity option. I just, I, I, I mean, I had to pick it, right? I had to. Yes, that must be it. That is what I need. Only a subject naked as the day they were born can convey the true anguish of birth. Now then, strip. Take it all. Actually, perhaps not. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Being found stark naked in a church would be even bigger news than the Phantom Thieves. No, that... Yeah, that would be a bad call. Let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. Hmm. I see. So this would be... No, perhaps... <sighs> it seems this is not working. I would like to capture anguish, yet you remain calm and composed. Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's impression of things. I shall not compromise, even for this sketch. Uh-oh. No. Now raise your hands higher. More. Give me more anguish. Bring it to its upper limits. Like this. <laughs> huh. This position. So this is the passion of the Christ. Forsaken by his disciples, abhorred as a criminal by the public, pierced with nails and hung on the cross. <laughs> I understand now. <laughs> this is the true anguish of the passion. It feels as though something is boiling up within me. Wh what are you children doing? Um. Well, this is an art study. Art? Th that? I am attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the crucifixion of Christ as a point of reference. So, you're interested in the anguish of the crucifixion? Hmm. While it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a symbol of deep suffering, it also bears a much more positive message. One of resurrection, of forgiveness. Oh. Resurrection, forgiveness. 
I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contradictory to my conception of anguish. It may be difficult to grasp what I'm saying right now, but try to consider that the anguish one may feel today will someday bring forth new hope. And... Ah, and by the way, I suggest you contain your excitement while here. You may trouble the congregation. So, those shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness, not pain. Hmm, hope from anguish. I'm not sure I understand. I must learn more about the hearts of men. Analog, do you think I will be able to capture the truth someday? I'm sure you will. Indeed, if I do not have belief in my own abilities, I will never come to accomplish anything. Hmm. This is exceedingly strange, though. Spending time with you has helped me discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror of sorts. I'm in your day. If there is anything I can do in return, please let me know. I wish to repay your kindness. I feel like my bond with Yusuke is growing deeper. Alright, rank 5 with Yusuke Kitagawa. New ability, card creation, allows Yusuke to create any skill card he has copied once before. Oh, that's actually really, really useful. All right, that's a great change, honestly. I like that. Hmm. Let us return home for today. I bid you farewell. Nice. Farewell. <laughs> yes, he did it. Wonderful. <laughs> See you. Goodbye, Anna. So good. He's so weird, and I love it. Apologies for this call. Could I talk to you about something? This crucifixion supposedly symbolizes resurrection, forgiveness, and hope. But I could not grasp those connections. Once again, I made the same mistake of picking up on only the superficial meaning. The more I think about it, the further I seem to be from understanding the abyss of the heart. There's still hope, my man. Ah, so my anguish is what leads me to my hope. It's exactly what I learned earlier today. Thank you, Analog. Perhaps what I need is a change of perspective. Yeah, not a bad call, honestly. I still have a tough road ahead, but talking to you gave me some relief. I'm truly fortunate to have you by my side. I'll see you later. Rain, huh? Just a few degrees cooler would do it. Okay, we already did our reading today's. So, let's see. Housekeeping. Actually, she's ready now, huh? Yeah, we're gonna do Kawakami. Not like that. Gosh, gosh, guys. Get your heads out of the gutter. Alright, it's just her, so... Basically, the only other option that might be nice is, um, Charm. But we're not gonna do that. In fact, let's, um, find out how close we are. We're probably not very close, to be honest with you. Somewhat close, actually. Okay, we're not too far off, Makoto. I'm coming for that date, girl. I'm coming for that date. Oh, yeah. Definitely close on kindness. Cool, that's the one that's really behind right now. All the other ones are uh, close to their rank fives, but that one hasn't even got to rank four yet. Right? Yeah. It's probably very, very close, though. Okay, so Kawakami is Temperance, and I definitely don't have Temperance. Well, I do have one slot open, which is good. Um, what's at the movie theater right now? Kindness? Okay. We might have to do that one. Finish out that kindness for us. Rude. You don't gotta be like that. Do you Justine, you Is there a persona I want to train? Maybe now's not the time while we're rolling into the next one. I should have done that a long time ago. But, we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, Temperance.
You'll withdraw this for this is your power. You lack how you finished. What? No slacking off. It's been a while, Kawakami. It's been a while. She's got good, good uh, abilities too. So. Becky is so drenched and wet right now. Oh, wait, it's you. Oh my god, Kawakami. Cool it, girl. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know what? She doesn't get she doesn't get called that often. She's got to make money somehow. I ain't going to judge. But damn, girl, that line. That line. Good god. Still, love you, girl. <laughs> Ugh, rain is the worst. It takes, it takes longer for all my laundry to dry up. And I have to run the dryer for 10 minutes longer than usual. I'll provide my services for 5,000 yen. Request to be included. So you'll request me today, right? Right? I will, girl. Hey! I mean, how can I not? She's so wet. Thank you so much! <laughs> I, I regretted saying that as soon as I did. I'm sorry. Yay! I love you, master. Okay, I'll come over right away. So fucking weird. Hey! I still love her as a character, though. I really, really do. Um, yeah. There are major issues with this gal, but I still love her. I don't know why. I don't know why. Well, anyways. So, master. I want to provide more services for you. Come again? That would be great. What are you scheming? I'm really good at giving massages. Meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. Well, how, how was that? <laughs> the thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts. She's just practicing. But he said that he prioritizes younger women. <laughs> so rude. Yeah, your boss is the one being rude. How rude. Seriously, he didn't have to say that right to my face. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning the room. And I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. Agreed. I still prefer teacher Kawakami to maid Kawakami. I don't have a maid thing. I just don't. I don't understand the fascination. I think she looks ridiculous right now. But... Hey, to each their own. <laughs> the girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now, see? So I'm damn good for... Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master! Would you please give me your honest opinion? Look at that face. Look at the eyes. They get all big. She's like almost duck facing right now. I look pretty good as a maid, don't I? Oh. Where's the I like um, teacher Kawakami better? You know, girl, you, you, need, you need to love yourself, all right? Have some confidence. You need to love yourself. Huh? Yeah, I said it. I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. That is an incredibly sad line, and there are people feel that way uh, honestly there are times where i have had those exact same thoughts so like it's not true so don't actually believe it girl but you're you're right you go out of your way to request me and all i do is sit here and vent to you what the heck am i saying you're my student my double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting maybe i let my guard down because you know both sides of me the more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead, I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. Sorry for such... Sorry I'm such a terrible maid. I feel Kawakami's kindness. Rank 4. Alright. Uh... So... I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie, too. 
rude, but go on. You're a bad teacher. I already knew that. Because I've played this game at least twice already. <laughs> I can't get requested unless I make up those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson learned. Let's just put an end to this. Are you breaking up with me? Thank you for using our service. I think she just broke up with me. I'll call her later and work it out. All right. Nice. All right, who's the message? Ah, uh, Takemi? Are you actually ready? Seriously? No, you're not. Okay, but we can go and do a reading today and maybe, just maybe, we'll have enough. We still have our death, so we can hope, right? If uh, this affinity reading gets us there, then we can max out to Kenny. Is this? What shall we do? Here we go. Why is this music so damn catchy? Nope, didn't get it. Okay. What do you think? So, not today, Takami. Sorry, girl. But soon. I need to keep an eye out for Akechi. Where the hell is Akechi, man? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, Ryuji too, and Makoto? Well, I guess today's a charm day. Well, good thing we haven't left yet, because we're going to work on charms. What shall we do? What's in this one? Knowledge? We have knowledge and kindness at the theater, so those aren't going to do us any good. And it's daytime, so once again, we have to do the convenience store. Alright, let's go do it. Two more. Um... What do you want to do? Thank God! Mishima. Hi! Oh, Vernac, wow. Didn't know you work here. You should have been to Kemi. That's okay, though. <laughs> Are you building funds for the you-know-what? Heroes of Justice have to be self-sufficient. Oops, we shouldn't talk about that stuff here. I'll, I'll see you later at the cashier. Don't we get charm from hanging out with Oya? Maybe we should just do that. And work on another stat. Because once we max that out, then the charm stat from Oya is not going to be useful anymore. So that might be a better way to use our time. And Makoto's confidant rank, honestly, can wait a bit if we have to. So um, I may start doing it that way instead. Energy drinks are must-haves for all-nighters. Energy boost. Sorry, I'm being loud, huh? Lack of sleep is messing me up. Good luck with the job. See ya. Good work out there. You got to learn how to be considerate of others through dealing with customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do from now on. Is uh, we'll try and get our the rest of our charm from Oya. Which gives us a reason to hang out with Oya, who I usually ignore. Sorry, girl. Well then. You made a promise with Futaba, right? I'm sure she'll pull through. Let's hope so, because we are out of time. How is Futaba? I haven't heard anything. Dude, this ain't just some normal oversleeping stuff. Our deadline's tomorrow. If Futaba's not up by then... But can she really do anything, even if she does wake up? Honestly, I'm not sure. Either way, our only option is to put our trust in her. That's right. Yeah. If she's been asleep all this time, do you think she's having some kind of long dream? 
Hmm. Dreams are said to be this, uh, to be the sorting of memories, after all. She surely needs ample time to face her troubled past. Her past? Y you think she's really facing all that shit right now? If that is the case, she would probably need a great amount of more time to do so. But considering how she had us wrapped around her finger, I feel as though she'll be able to pull this off. I believe in Futaba. Yes. Indeed. Well, just give us a ring if anything changes. We're counting on you. I have to agree with Makoto. Who knows how this might turn out? Falls in her court, man. Ooh, we can do Kawakami again. Aw, oh, Yoshida. Man, I want to do all of these. Okay, Oya's not even here, so that's not even a factor. Um, so, Yoshida, Kawakami, and Hifumi are the ones that I'm, I'm really wanting to do. Once again, Yoshida only shows up on Sunday, so I think we'll do Yoshida. Sorry, Becky. Let's save, because tomorrow we're going into story stuff. And now... Yep, I'm coming, Yoshida. Everyone. Good evening. What kind of friends do you spend your time with? You can withstand difficult times if you have friends who support you through them. I received a dinner invitation from Diet Men Matsushita. He would like for you to come as well. Let me know if you would like to attend. I'd be delighted if you would consider this as helping with my campaign and join me. Right away, then. Kuramoto's been in and out of the hospital. I hear he's not going to run in the upcoming election. I see. He plans for his grandson, who's also in our party, to take his place. Yes. Unfortunately, this is all beyond me now. Yoshida. Hey, you have to keep eating. You're still growing, you know? Okay, Mr. Dietman Matsushita. What a weird thing to say. I invited you along because I wanted to ask you something. What do you think about the Phantom Thieves? You've heard of them, right? They've become quite popular as of late. I'd like to hear your honest opinion. As, as a young man, are you for or against them? I'm for them. <laughs> you have a very adaptable way of thinking. Most people who want to get into politics are jealous of them. What about you? However, they manage to change hearts. I respect their belief in crushing evil and saving the weak. Isn't that similar to what you advocate? You're right. I can't deny that, but that's not why I support them. I bet they're a group of young people. Young people who have experienced cruelty and injustice. They bravely face the societal ills that plague our world without thinking of the consequences. Mm. Brave, yet pitiful, I suppose. So, the former Diet member, who was disgraced by scandals, is going to side with them, huh? You know, he's pretty pretty on the mark there, Yoshida. Good job. Is this what you asked me here to speak to me about? No, the party's decided which candidates it will back in the various electoral zones. Mm -hmm. And? One of our main candidates will represent this area, according to the party's election strategy. You have no chance of winning. Hmm... So you're saying that I should give up my campaign to become a Diet member? I won't beat around the bush. Drop out of the election, and become my right-hand man. It won't be for naught. I'll put in a motion to have you reinstated as a party member. And I will perform an extensive investigation into your expense misappropriation accusations. What? Matsushita. You'd finally be able to clear your name. Think about it. I'll see you again soon, Mr. Secretary. <sighs> he likely has an ulterior motive. If he felt hopeful, he wouldn't ask me to not run for the diet. I expect he's trying to take advantage of me. That happens a lot in this world. What would you do at a time like this for Nat Kuhn? Honestly, I'd decline. So you're telling me to take control of my destiny, hmm? You're 
You're very inspiring. Thank you. For telling me your honest opinion. Don't worry, I won't stop giving speeches. Above all, I wish to continue speaking with you. You have such a fresh outlook on the world. And I feel that like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Rank six with the man of the people. All right. Let's finish up for today. Sorry I made you tag along. I shall ask you again another time. I'll see you again soon. Sorry I made you tag along today. I'm sure you'll end up having to face something similar someday, so let me share my thoughts. When people come to you with these negotiations, you need to see what's really on the table. Do you see the offer as a risk or an opportunity? You'll have your own major decisions to make in time. The most crucial thing is that you don't lose sight of who you are. You make quite a case. It comes from experience. I don't want you to make the mistakes I did. Just remember, even when you're surrounded by opposition and opinions, hold on to your own conviction. Ah, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about this. Well then, until next time. Good night. Tomorrow's the day, isn't it? Are the Phantom Thieves even doing anything? Hey, what are we gonna do? I should never have trusted the Phantom Thieves. What's going to happen tomorrow? Oh dear. Come on, Futaba. Come on, Futaba. Today's supposed to be the day Medjad's attacking, right? I guess there's nothing the Phantom Thieves could do. Medjad must have been too much for them. Stock prices are plummeting again. Maybe Medjad's true goal was... Isn't today our deadline for dealing with Medjed? Futaba's still asleep too. This won't be good. Hey. How's Futaba? Same as always. Today's the day Wakaba passed. I do this every year. Oh man. Here, I've got a cup for you too. Futaba reminds me so much of her mother. She's a smart girl. It doesn't just go with the flow, either. Wakaba, your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Oh, that reminds me. You saw me talking to that prosecutor. I, I mean, that woman in the suit, right? I remember you were real bothered by it. She might come back, so I guess I should tell you about it. That woman was trying to get information on Wakaba's research out of me. That's what we heard in the palace. You don't need to know what the research was about. Just know there was some trouble around it. Obviously, Wakaba got dragged into that as well. Now, they ruled her death as suicide. And I've got my doubts. Doubts? Could she have been killed? Supposedly, there were people who wanted to take her research and use it for their own benefit. Don't get me wrong, though. I don't have a lick of evidence. That's why I haven't told Futaba any of this. I don't want to cause her any more trouble. It sounded like she had suspicions of her own based on what she said in the palace. Still, there's one thing I regret. It was right before Wakaba died. She told me, I think I might die. I brushed it off, thinking it was just a joke. But if I had just taken her seriously... Oh, man. <sighs> that's another reason I took Futaba in. Redemption. You know, I don't think I've mentioned it, but because I didn't want to early in the game, but Sajiro is easily one of my favorite characters in this game. Easily. I fucking love Sojiro such a great character he starts out so rough and that's why I didn't want to bring it up early for those of you who haven't been watching I wanted you to see the natural kind of like progression of his arc and it's, oh, it's so good it's so good I love Sajiro she went through such horrible things 
and those heartless adults just yelled at the poor girl. Hey, how do you heal emotional scars? Hey, when you figure it out, let me know. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This is an answer for me. I don't know. Of course. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I don't got the answers, man. Sorry. Oh, look who it is. She's up. In her freaking... Well, like, those are like jinkos. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can't sell this. No, no, never mind that. What, how did you get here? If you look closely, you'll see that steam is coming off of her cup. Damn, girl, you're just that picky, huh? Temperature's not right for you. <laughs> uh, I walked. You're okay. <laughs> Was that bad? Hell no. Th that's not it. I'm just shocked to see you out of the house. Uh, I'm sorry I worried you. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, he's so happy. By the way, what's the date today? Uh, it's, uh, it's the 21st. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hey, um, we waited for you. Um, can you help us out, please? Oh, I remember now. Majed. Let's take care of it now. Come. Oh, thank God. Apparently some ATMs aren't working. I heard someone's tampering with the system. Is it Majed? No, oh, it couldn't be. What are the police doing? They're so incompetent. Even the Phantom Thieves couldn't stop them. my turn to help out. <laughs> Medjed. Now how do we cook them? It's up to you. Roger that. Hey Futaba, we don't have much time left. Are you sure you could do this? The, the kitty talked? <laughs> is this a dream? I'm going back to sleep. It is not a dream! Get up! Say something! Don't, don't worry, Futaba. This is completely no normal. R right. <laughs> now hurry it up. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's get cracking. You're just tapping away over there. Are you sure this will work? Mm -hmm. mm. Hmm. Hey, Futaba. <laughs> I don't think she can hear me. Talk about intense concentration. This place is so messy. I'm surprised she could focus at all. Utaba, you should really clean your room a bit. <laughs> huh. She's not listening. Oh well. Stop trying to distract Just her, waiting Morgana. Waiting around is boring. Let's clean the place up. <laughs> wow. Whew. It looks a little better now, don't you think? She's got a whole damn server well, rack under all that garbage. We're done on our end. Are you finished yet? <laughs> she can't hear a word I'm saying. <sighs> Guess we'll just have to keep waiting. Rip Sujiro's money. Look at all that gear. <sighs> I'm done! Uh, what's up? Something happened? It's finished. Finished? What is? Ah, it's so clean. Why? <laughs> Why? We cleaned it. <laughs> anyway, is it true? Did you really take care of Medjet? See, now we just messed up her whole system. She's never going to know where anything is now. I handled them, and someone else handled my room. <laughs> I don't understand, but this is good. <laughs> Futaba? Hey, Futaba, what's wrong? <laughs> God. She's sleeping. Well, it looks like it's been taken care of. I guess we should get home and sleep too. You know what? Good job, girl. You did it. Proud of you. I heard the bank servers got taken over. 
That has to be fake, right? There's no way. I'm scared. What's going to happen? Are the police taking action? They're ignoring it? Seriously? Still, I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. So, Futaba's awake? Awesome. And has Medjid been taken care of? Uh, more importantly, how's Futaba doing? She's back asleep. Seriously? She must have been quite exhausted. I can't say I blame her at all. If medjid has been affected, it will surely make the news. That should be enough to confirm whether or not the deed's been done. Then why don't we all watch the news together? Yes, we should meet up at LeBlanc as usual. See you tomorrow, guys. We should be in the clear now, right? Sure hope so. I suppose we're gonna find out. I don't know, maybe it'd be better if we just stayed in today? Okay, so what do we got? Oh. We got a new game. Ooh. Charm. Okay, that's probably what we'll do. We'll get other do charm or... Well, once again, oh yeah. We could also read. We have that. Master Swordsman. So we'll have to do two readings to finish that one. That one gives us guts. So, kindness, guts, or charm. Once again, we can get charm from Oya. So, I think I might. Let's work on this book. Hey. Yeah, we're gonna work on the book. Make sure you close up. A heart without hesitance, hesitance is the essence of Bushido. Learning about the spirit of the samurai seems useful, but this book looks difficult. You still got time to read, let's go a little further. A heart that never backs down is the secret to Bushido. Okay. One more reading and we'll be done with that one. And hopefully when we finish that one, we'll actually be able to do a reading that day. That way we can get even more guts from it. What's this? Are you serious? No way, I can't believe it. This isn't a joke, is it? They lost? How could this happen? Here we go. Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? Oh, you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. We <laughs> did it. What are you all smirking about? Ooh, careful now. Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Well, stop it. You're going to drive away all my customers. What customers, Sajiro? The place is empty. <laughs> After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. <laughs> there it is. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. <laughs> oh, poor Sajiro. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. There are still 10 days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. 
Oh. It seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. Come again? That's quite the statement. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. Oh, he does? I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. Oh, dear. Okay, what Boomer. What do you think, boss? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Yeah, that doesn't, uh... That doesn't sound very good. So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. It almost sounds like you're starting to believe my story, Sai. Careful now, or we might become friends. Does this other metaverse user that Madarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? Oh, you mean the true criminal? The one you should have How self in custody? Of you. The Phantom Thieves tamper with people's hearts without asking consent. How is that different? <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. I feel like my bond with Sai is growing deeper. All right, rank three. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Summary, the story up to this point has been updated. 